Okay, this is number 10 in a series of videos that I'm making as supplements to some of the tutorials I posted on my PFSense blog at pfsensesetup.com. And in this video, this is the second in a series of videos on VPNs and we're covering L2TP VPNs. And first we're going to log into the uh, PFSense web GUI and before I go any further I have a, a, a series of bulleted points here to make about the uh, L2TP layer 2 tunneling protocol here. I'm not going to go into great detail on the protocol but uh, I should mention a few things. It was published as proposed standard RFC 2661 in 1999 and the, the new version was uh, L2TP version 3 published as RFC 3931 in 2005. There's no encryption in L2TP and for that reason it's often used with other tunneling protocols that do incorporate encryption uh, such as IPsec and since this layer 2 tunneling protocol, and layer 2 as you may or may not know is the data link layer in the seven layer OSI model of networking so it will work on non-IP networks because remember networks network is uh, layer 3 so a layer 2 protocol will work on non-IP networks and there's the the advantage of that okay to set up L2TP in PFSense 2.0 we first go to the top menu here VPN we select L2TP obviously and there's two tabs here is configuration and users we're going to add a user in a couple minutes but first we want to click on the radio button to enable the L2TP server we'll leave the interface as WAN and the server address we want to type a server address for the L2TP server so we're going to type in 192.168.3.254 and we're going to enlarge this a little bit uh, and then the road address range, we're going to type uh, 192.168.3.0, the starting address for the client IP address subnet, and for the subnet net mask, it's going to cover the first three octets, so we want to select 24 because it's 24 bits. Uh, number of L2TP users, well, we'll, we'll just put it at 10 for now. And then there's encryption type, we'll leave that as, as challenge handshake authentication protocol and radius. We're not going to set up a wind server, we're not going to uh, set up radius, although I might do a separate video on that. So I'm just going to save this. And it's saved, it says the changes have been applied successfully. I can close this. And we're going to go to the Users tab now and add a user. So we want to click on the plus button to add a user. And we're going to type for a username. We'll type Homer. And we'll type in a password here. And we'll confirm the password. And we're not going to uh, assign a specific IP address. So we're just going to click on Save here. And there you have it. We've added a, a user here, Homer, IP address, this dynamic. So the next thing we have to do is add a firewall rule for the L2TP tunnel. So we go to Firewall, Rules, and you see here we now have a new tab that wasn't there before. We have floating, WAN, LAN, OPT1, which are all interfaces, as you can see here. But we also have L2TP VPN, and we want to select that tab. Now we want to click on the plus button to add a new rule. For destination, we want set this to LAN subnet. Destination port range is any. For description, I'll just put L2TP. And we'll save this. And we now have a rule. And we still have to click on apply changes to make sure that the rule is applied. So we'll click on that. And now we're done. 
we have set up the rule.